Good morning. Come here, Maxwell. Maxwell. No? No? Okay, see you later. Welcome. So, welcome. Thank you for joining me. I so appreciate it. So, my name is Kelly, and this is Strength with Weights. We're going to get started right away. So, I'll talk to you while we start warming up. Reach your arms up overhead. Look up at your hands. Turn your palms up and reach, stretching the arms up and reaching the shoulders and then lower the shoulders down. Bring the arms in front, opening up your shoulder blades. Sweep open and close, open and close. Reaching your arms to the sides, warming up your shoulders and the arms. So today's class is gonna be five exercises, five moves, working 35 seconds, second intervals and 15 second recovery between the exercises and we'll go through four rounds if you're newer to my programming or to working out keep the sweep going now add a squat if you're newer to the programming or working out do two to three rounds and skip that fourth round and you can watch my form on the fourth round i have my medium and heavy weights today and I pulled out a couple of kettlebells. So if you have kettlebells, you can use your kettlebells because there's a, an exercise where we'll use one weight. All right, so now reach up and stretch. All right, so now do a little jump rope. Let's get the heart rate up. And then we'll move the legs around and warm up the hips legs so turning your rope now jack your legs out and in like you're jump roping and the jack all right so four three two one take it to a jog pump your arms I also have my bench out you can use the floor so one of our moves chest press and pullovers. So in today's class, main teaching points will, will be about the pullover and the correct position of your hands doing a pullover. So pullovers work, keep that jog going. Pullovers work your lats and your triceps. And your well, lats and tries. So, depending on the position of your palms, how they're facing, and internal and, external, internal and external rotation of the shoulders dictates whether or not you're working more lats or more triceps. All right, take it back to the top. Jack the legs. Last time, 30 seconds, run it out. So we'll go through each move, back to back, and we'll go through four rounds. 35 second work, 15 second recovery. So start to march it out. Reach up, let's do hip open, and bring it in. Do that again, same side. So external rotation, internal rotation. External and internal. Do it one more time. And then the other side. Open up and then bring it over. Good. Open up and bring it back. Two more times. Excellent, okay, so pick up one dumbbell. So medium to heavy, or you can go ahead and go with heavy. So one dumbbell, 
We're gonna do a single leg Romanian deadlift to a sumo squat, so I'll face you. So starting with your right leg, standing leg, you're gonna bring your left, left leg back, reaching the dumbbell down towards the shin, and then lift up, bring the weight up to your chest, and step wide, squat. Okay, so let's do, practice that again. Romanian deadlift, and then squat. Okay, so now I'm gonna set my timer. Start. Okay, so RDL to a sumo squat. Stand up tall. You can put your hand on your hip or out for balance. I prefer to have my arm out for balance, like that. So straight right leg, straight leg, reach, bring it up, and then step wide and squat. So make sure you have your chest and chin up all the way before you step wide and squat. There you go, do it again. Leg back, reach, and squat, good. Straight leg, keep your balance. So this is also a great way to train balance. Good job, okay, great job. Other side, you're gonna reach. Standing leg is the left leg, right leg goes back. And then once you stand up, step wide for that sumo squat. So reach right there, straight right leg. So just reach down as far, go to that point of just feeling the hamstring stretch right there. Stand up and squat, good. Sometimes your balance will get thrown off. Just keep moving, protecting the hips by pointing your left, or your, the leg that goes back, those toes towards the floor. Straight leg, RDL, whir. That one got wonky. All right, so now we're gonna go to chest press. We're gonna go to the bench for the next two moves. So sit on your bench and roll back. Lie back on, your, on the floor or on the bench. Press straight up. This first set, do press up and bring them close together at the top, and think squeeze the pecs toward, as you bring those dumbbells together or towards each other. Don't let the elbows drop too low. You wanna keep them at about the bench level when you come down, bring it together. So think squeeze the chest muscles right there when you lift top, so intentionally Pressing and lifting using the pectoral muscle. Okay, let one of these weights go. We're just gonna use one. So the, for pullovers, your arms are straight and hold the end of the dumbbell, right? And bring it over the head and then lift up. So if you kind of squeeze the elbows in towards each other, that makes you work more in the lats. If you turn your elbows out, this more tricep work. So I want you to Pull your elbows in towards each other to work both the lats and the triceps, the back of the arms, bring it up. So reach, keep pulling those elbows in towards each other and equally press or hold that dumbbell and your palms should be facing in. Good, Rest. come up. All right, so the third move or the fourth move is static lunge, using one dumbbell. So use a heavy dumbbell. Bring your left leg back and bring the, the weight up here at your shoulder. So lower down and then lift like that. Get your balance. <laughs> and then lower down. Tap and lift. Straighten your legs. Watch that forward knee. It should be over your ankle. Straighten the legs as you come top. Lift. Weight is right over that leg that you're working, that forward leg. Good. All right, so let's change sides. So hand opposite, or weight in the opposite hand. Left leg forward. 
That's the working leg. Hand at your hip, lower and lift. So range of motion, let's talk about that. If you can lower down and tap the floor, full range of motion. If you just feel more comfortable right there going halfway down and just hovering the knee the floor, over the floor. Just pay attention to the press to where the weight is in the forward foot, your, in your heel. So the knee stays over your ankle. Lower down and lift, down and up. Good. All right, straight arm crunch. So now you're gonna come down to the floor and use your medium weight, medium heavy weight. Put your feet flat on the floor. That weight, straight up, put your head down and lift up. So the key here, keep your arms straight and keep your feet on the floor. And I want you to put your head all the way down whenever you lower on the lowering phase, all the way. Palms facing in, keep your knees pointing up. Exhale on the lift, inhale, going down. Good, reach, try to get one more in. First, first round, done. All right, second round. If you have a kettlebell, grab your kettlebell. I'm gonna grab a 20. Otherwise, grab your heavier weight. Single leg RDL, so standing leg, side hold the weight. Lower, straight leg, hold the weight, and squat. Do it again. Single leg RDL, and then bring it up. Squat, good. Hand at your hip, then lower, bring it up, squat. So maneuvering, holding the weight strongly. Do it one more time. Excellent, okay, so change sides. So from the side, looks like this. Chest up, hand at your hip, or arm out straight. So you'll reach down straight, leg, bring it up, and squat. Leg down, or weight down to about midway down the shin, right where you feel the hamstring stretch. Keep your legs straight. This is a straight leg, RDL, squat. Do one more, RDL, and the lift. Good, excellent. Okay, so chest press, bench press, heavy weights. Move over to your bench. Sit, roll it down. This time, turn your palms in at the top and turn them out when you bring the weights down. So supinating or turning the palms in, bring those weights together over your chest. Slow and controlled movement, squeeze at the top. So that squeeze is important right here, squeeze. Lift. Slow and controlled, good. All right, here's your pullovers. So the other thing is the position of your palms facing each other is important. So grab your weights. So you're holding the end of the dumbbell, right? And then you bring it over your head. My palms are facing each other because I'm grabbing the end of the dumbbell. Bring it over and then right over your chest. So arms in and draw your elbows in towards each other to engage those lats. Squeeze, lift. Looking straight up, chin neutral. Lift. Excellent. Bring it up. Rest. All right, so the final move is straight arm crunch. No, static lunge, sorry. Let's go to static lunge. One dumbbell, 
and you'll hold that at your shoulder right here. Bring your left leg back, lower and lift, lower and lift. Keep the knee stable over that forward knee. Don't let the knee come forward, right? So then if you can, straighten the leg at the top and lower, hover the knee just over the floor at the bottom right there and lift. So you're not putting weight down on the knee when you lower. Arm out for balance or hand on your hip. Remember, weight back in that forward heel. Look forward. Good, let's change sides. Over on the other side. Okay, stand up tall. Opposite leg goes back, set up. Lower and lift, bend your knee. Weight in the forward heel, straighten the legs. Hover the knee and straighten. Good. Up. Static lunge, chin neutral, looking forward. Don't look down. Excellent. Lift and lower. Excellent. Straight arm crunch. This time I'm going to go with my 15 pound dumbbell. So first, lie down, put your head down, feet on the floor, reach the arms straight, holding the ends of the dumbbell. Lift. So you're not lifting all the way up, just right there to that, called the sticky spot right there and then lower, so right there, that flexion is how you build your abs. Lift, look up, keep that movement up, keep your feet on the floor, don't let them lift, good, up. Nice, all right, round two down. Round number three, if you like, if you have that kettlebell, you can use the kettlebell for the RDL right here. So standing leg, right leg, and then lower to halfway, straighten that leg, lift it up, hold the weight at the chest, squat again. So functional movement, doing, combining two moves, holding the weight strong. Lowering. Excellent. Okay, let's change sides. So, standing leg. It's the side you're holding the weight. Okay, stand tall. Chin neutral. Don't look down. In other words, arm side. RDL. All right, so get that leg straight. Protecting the hamstring with the leg straight. Down, again. Squat, good. Excellent. Leg goes back. Squat, do one more. Excellent, okay. Whoops, can't play that. All right, bench, come to the bench. Bench press, lower down. So press it towards each other at the top, turn it, your elbows out at the bottom, but don't bring the elbows too low. Just about right where the bench is. So not impinging the shoulders, strengthening the shoulders. So your range of motion, straight up with straight arms. Elbows bent about 90 degrees when your elbows come out. Bring it out, palms forward, and then lift. Good. All right, one of these down. So remember, Palms facing in, elbows draw in towards each other. 
to engage the lats in this move. You want to hold the, the end of the dumbbell so your palms are facing each other. Watch your face. Bring it over and lift. Right over the chest. Pull it all the way over. So it's called rib cage pullovers because so you're pulling it over the ribs. Abs in. Bring it up. Over the head. Behind. Different than skull crushers. Elbows draw in towards each other. So in other words, don't splay the elbows out. Feel the difference. Nice. All right. Bring it up. Static lunge. So this time, let's pick up two weights. So put those weights up here. You can place them on your shoulders. Right there. Left leg back, right leg forward. Lower and straighten the legs. So that forward knee over the ankle. Don't let the, don't let the knee reach forward. They're right over the ankle when you lower down. So it's as if something is attached to your head and lifting you up and then lowering you down, straight up and down. No forward and backward motion. Chin neutral. Good. Let's change sides. So opposite leg, forward, my left, right leg back. Bend your knees first. Get into position, okay? Ready, chin neutral, lower, and straight. So we're on the third round, almost complete. Last move coming up, straight arm crunch. So the main thing here, again, knee over ankle. Don't let the knee come forward. No shifting forward and back. You're going straight up and straight down. Good. Come on. All right. Put this down. So straight arm, come down. Straight arm crunch. If you cannot lift up further than your shoulder blades, that's fine too. You're still getting that crunch. So here, right to that sticky point where it's hard to lift past, right? Straight arms. Put your feet on the floor, keep them on the floor. Excellent. Keep your knees pointing straight up. Don't let them turn in or fall in. Do one more. Excellent. Fourth round. We've done it. Okay, so proud of you guys for showing up. Grab your heavier weight and single leg RDL. Let's get this right. So, woo, get your body balanced. It's hard to come off the floor and then stand up and have your balance, right? Squat. Straight leg and then squat. Okay, let's do it again. Reach. And squat. What side is the more difficult side? So to strengthen that side that feels a little weaker, always start with the weaker side. Even if I say start with right or left, start with your weaker side to get that done first where you have most of your strength Pull it up, squat. Good. All right, leg is back. Straight leg, deadlift, and squat. Hand or arm out. Do it again. Leg goes back. Reach. You don't want to lock the knee. Don't lock it out, but let's get one more RDL. Single leg deadlift. Good. Awesome. So bench. 
Last one for the bench, grab your heavy weight. Move it over to the floor or your bench. Lie down. So again, bring those weights in, palms facing each other, and have the palms facing each other at the bottom. Press up, squeeze together, and then down. Squeeze together, and then down. Up, together, lower. Breathe. Almost there. Three more minutes, we'll have a brief stretch. Okay, all right. Pull over. Remember, palms facing in, elbows draw in towards you. All right, so hold that. Get your fingers positioned, not when it's over your face. <laughs> Bring it over, elbows draw in, and lift. Reach that overhead, so palms facing each other. So you're holding the end of the dumbbell. Press your feet into the floor, and you wanna pull your back, draw your back towards the surface. So your lower abs engage, your TVA muscles. Lift up, good, reach and pull it over. Nice work. Last couple of moves, last two moves. Straight leg, static lunge. Or static lunge. Place the weights on your shoulders. Keep your right leg forward, left leg back. Lower and lift. Lower and lift. So knee over the ankle, don't let it go forward. This is a movement that's up and down not forward and back. Get your balance as I'm trying to. Good. So work in those legs, the glutes, hamstrings, quads, calf muscles, ankles, knees, hips. All right, chain sides. So left leg forward or the opposite leg forward. Opposite leg back. Look forward, chin up. And let's do it, hit it. Down and up. Down and then up, good. Lower and lift. So think about the heel behind you. It should be pointing straight up. Knee over ankle in the front. Chin neutral, up. You got it, straight. Lift, so this workout, total time of the actual working out, workout was 24 minutes. So it's almost exactly with that warm up and then a little bit of a stretch. It's exactly 30 minutes. So when you do this again, you just need 30 minutes, including a little warm up. Okay, straight arm crunch. Keep your feet on the floor. That first one's always kind of like the, the tester move. Where are you going with this, right? Chin off your chest. Look up. Straight arms. Keep your feet on the floor. And we'll just stay here and briefly stretch on the floor. Keep going. Three. Two, one, all right. So very briefly, bring your best way to stretch on your back because your back is neutral. All right, flex your foot, bring your knee into your chest, and then extend that leg up straight. Feel your hamstring stretch, reach behind the calf, pull your leg in towards you. You wanna have your toes pointing towards you, all right? Look up at it, hand here. Now you can bend your knee, bring this leg across the body to, I gotta move my mic to the other side. So knee across and look over the opposite way. So stretching the, the lower back, the hip, the outside of the leg, and then the shoulder by reaching the arm out, palm up, lift up, let's change sides. So right leg out, with that right leg out, press the right thigh down 
Stretching your flexors, pull your knee in. Rotate your ankle, extend the leg up. Hand behind the hamstring, pull it in. Hands behind the calf, pull it in. Toes pointing towards you. Mm -hmm. Then bend your knee, arm out, leg across. Look over the opposite direction of your knee. So we're at 702, we're gonna bring it up and conclude class. All right, lift up, grab your knees, cross your ankles and roll up. Hands on your thighs, lift all the way up. Give, bring your arms up, give yourselves a round of applause. Thank you for showing up, for turning that, pressing that play button, <laughs> or just showing up to face, not Facebook. I'll see you again. I'll see you in boot camp coming up in 27 minutes. Bye.